Hello, Troy Martinson here with Remax Results and welcome to another episode of my video blog. Today we are joined by author uh, and broker of Remax Results, Mr. John Colopy. Well, thank you for being with us today, John. I appreciate your time. Um, you've made some incredible accomplishments over the last uh, many years. Can you tell us a little bit about results well, and, and how you grew it to one of the country's largest brokerages? First, bro I'd like to brokerages. thank you for having me here. Absolutely. Yeah. And the answer to how we grew the brokerage has many, many steps to it. Um, the first one would be that when we started the company in 1986, my late business partner, Bill Saunders, was a great partner and a great leader and had some skills that uh, as a youngster I was lacking at the time. So very instrumental in our success. Um, one of the stories I tell when people are asking about this is it took us six years as a real estate company to get to break even. Mm. And if you don't make money, let me tell you, you live a very meager lifestyle. Um, however, we have become successful and I oftentimes use the phrase, and, and I use this in many parts of speaking and philosophy, I did it a day at a time. Sure. And I was con con counting how many times I've been to work recently, mm. and I've been to work at Remax Results 6,400 times. And so when you say, how did the brokerage do it? It did it every day. Sure. And Sometimes it's a good day and sometimes it's not, but you accomplish something every day and that's how we work on it. And, and uh, I hope we continue to grow and everybody prospers in the system uh, and, and uh, we'll do it a day at a time. Yeah, good. So you're saying it doesn't happen overnight. Holy smokes. <laughs> that's a great understatement. It, 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 the one thing that I did learn from life experiences and somebody told me this a long time ago and they said the older you get the faster life goes mm. and i'm here to tell you that very statement so how long has it taken when you add up the days it's a lot but when you look in your rearview mirror it doesn't seem that long ago oh, it's pretty fast it, it's yeah. an amazing set of circumstances yeah. and i'm so proud of the people i work with yeah good well and to your point it's a holiday week and here you are well, yeah, I got nothing to do. <laughs> I, I'd rather be here. My wife owns a restaurant, so she works all the time. So well, good. We work well, it sounds out. like you might be taking some time off toward the end of the week. I hope so. Okay. I hope so. Thank you. Well, your story is pretty unique, and after reading your book, The Reward of Knowing, I learned a lot about your struggles with addiction um, and the law as a kid. How has that helped you grow in business and in personal relationships and different things? Well, I think we all have things that happen in our background that help form us who we are. Sure. And not all the things that happened to me were positive, but they were learning experiences. And I was fortunate enough to hit bottom very young. And so sobriety started for me at age 23. Okay. And I liked it. And it fit for me. And I started to prosper in business, and uh, I was just really happy with that lifestyle. And it was the right way for me to live, and, and it was a way that I could grow business, become uh, financially capable of supporting my family, and then ultimately giving back to the community. Sure. That's good. Well, there, there are countless brokers out there, as you know. Um, if I were just getting licensed in real estate or considering a brokerage like results, um, how would I go about finding a better fit uh, with more support uh, and top producers to be surrounded by? Well, there's a, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a little bit of a catch-22 to that because uh, we're pretty fussy about hiring new people. And in general, in our company, you're probably going to have to find a team to join, although we make exceptions. If you're a new agent, you need to interview at least three brokers. Mm -hmm. And you need to be cognizant of what's going on in that brokerage relative to productivity. Now, one of the flags we wave for results is that we average 23 transactions per sales executive, and our competitors are somewhere between eight and 10. And, and so it's hard for them to paint a picture of how good they are if their salespeople don't sell many houses. Sure. There are exceptions to every rule. 
If you're out looking at real estate companies and you interview with a manager or a management person that you really like and you really bond with, it might be enough. And so it's not a one size fits all world. You may choose an opportunity different than ours. Uh, I hope it works for you, but boy, be really careful because you're really making a big decision uh, about how your career is going to move forward. Okay, good. Um, well, well, your role has obviously changed recently with results. Um, there's a new CEO um, and just wanted to kind of have you elaborate a little bit on how your day-to-day -day activities after being in, in, a, in one position for so long in your company, how, how has your new role changed and kind of what is your day-to-day -day like well, today? Quite frankly, not that different. Okay. The big difference is I spend just as much time coaching salespeople. Mm -hmm. I spend just as much time uh, with our recruiters and or recruits. I spend some time less on internal financial and decisions related to brokerage. Um, I've replaced the time that I would spend with brokerage and that Brenda does now uh, by allocating a larger percentage of my time to the Results Foundation. And so for now, the total number of hours I work hasn't changed, but I've shifted from administrative work at the brokerage and the real estate, excuse me, the brokerage, mortgage, and title, and shifted a little bit to the foundation where we're doing some public speaking and some fundraising and events uh, once again, talking about our desire to give back to the community. So nothing big in the future, just a slight time management adjustment. And as the years roll on, uh, I will make a larger commitment to the time I spend working for the Results Foundation. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Well, you've authored one book and there are rumors of another in the works. Um, is that true? And can you give us a preview or some uh, little snippet on? <laughs> Holy on <what's> smokes! <laughs> Boy, you've got some really great information. Um, I know a lot of people. Do. There you go. <laughs> I am working on another book, and it is going to be—I don't want to say related to the last one, but it's going to include some introspection. And if I had to be real general about the topic of it. We're going to talk about why individuals verbalize what they would like to do and yet never do it. Why do you want to change your behavior, your diet, your financial picture, but you don't do it? And uh, I've spent a lifetime studying people and will till I don't breathe anymore because I think it's fascinating. The question is, why do we do what we do? Uh, and I know that sounds redundant, but I love it. It's just super cool. And so the book is going to be about recognizing, deciding, and taking steps to change. Nice. That's what we're working on. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Well, you mentioned you've been doing some speaking as, as well as I know that you're a real estate coach um, on top of being a broker and an author. The speaking engagements, That's all I, that has always intrigued me. What What is one of the... Um, speaking uh, engagements that you have done or look forward to doing that you really, um, you know, ha have a passion for? I went down to a college <laughs> at River Falls. Okay. And I spoke to the people with business majors. And uh, it was so cool because they actually were interested in what I had to say. And uh, not everybody you speak to gives a hoot. And uh, these folks were into it. And they surrounded me after the speaking mm -hmm. engagement with question after question. Loved it. I, I felt like I might have had a positive impact on a couple people. Uh, the feedback I got was outstanding. And I was just joyful about being with these people, That's planning nice. for their life. Yeah. It was just fun. I, I can't. I can't not like participating in other people's personal growth. It was just super cool. Good. That's really good. I wish my kids would listen to me like that. <laughs> well, they won't. See, that's the point. <laughs> right. They'll listen to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Quote the expert the school brings in. But right. Dad's out of it. That's right. Dad knows nothing. 
Um, well, speaking of rumors, any uh, any music plans on the horizon? I, I always love hearing about a new music project. So. Well, I think you'd have to ask yourself since you're <laughs> since you're one of the key people in the organization. Well, uh, I just wanted to, you know, we, I know people are thinking about it. <laughs> we, we do have some things coming up. Uh, the Results Foundation is going to be doing a gala this fall. Uh, I had a really cool band booked, uh, but we can't quite make the schedule work. So uh, back to the drawing board a little bit. But we have something coming up in November. And uh, if the executive director of the foundation will let us, uh, Troy and I will be part of that, but she's in charge, not John. Yeah, well. So you gotta, you gotta go with what Kathy says. You gotta do it. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Well, thank you. I appreciate no, my your pleasure. time. That's yeah. fun. Yeah, this is good. Thank you. Thank good you. Good stuff. Thank you, everybody.